in a previous podcast, we saw how to compute the future value of a compounding account uh, using the basic uh, formula here, the compounding uh, future value account uh, formula. Now, uh, the TI uh, calculators have a really neat built-in function called the time valued management. And so in this podcast, I want to uh, illustrate how to use the TVM solver to solve the same kind of problems. We'll use the TVM solver for lots of other financial problems in the future, and so this is just a good introduction to it. All right, so turning it on, where do we find this uh, solver? Well, this is a TI-83+. Plus. It's under the application menu here. If I click application, it says finance. Now, under the TI-83 or maybe some other variety, it's the uh, finance functions are the second functions over X inverse here. Uh, so you may find it in a different place on yours. Uh, all right, we'll take the finance and the TVM solver, the first option up there. And so what this does, this is just sort of like a black box where you, you have to know how to fill in the various uh, parameters that are specified here. So let's do the first problem, and let's do the problems we did before in the same way. Uh, we had a thousand dollars placed in an account that was going to pay six percent a year, compounded monthly. So uh, we have to be a little bit careful here. If we're doing this for one year, so I can put the one in here for the number of periods. The interest rate should be now. This says I percent, so that means you want to give it like six as six percent before when we were using the formula here we had to write the percent as a decimal 0.06 our pre the present value the starting value was going to be a thousand dollars we were making no payments the future value is what we want to find uh, p slash y is the number of payments per year and that's just going to be one but we were compounding it monthly so this would be done at 12 times a year we don't don't worry about this down here yet so now how do we then solve for the future value well you go back and put the cursor on the parameter you want to solve for and to solve uh it's uh, down here the little green solve that means it's the uh, this green or the alpha button so you press alpha and enter and it solves and it gives us the 1061 68 just like we did before now what happens if you want to go and find, as we did before, the amount of uh, the value of the account after two years. Well, we can come back up here and put in uh, the two for n, and then we can come down and check everything. One payment per year. It's going to be compounded monthly. I have to remember to go down to my future value thing, and I'll solve it again. Remember the alpha, and then enter, and there is the uh, 11, 27, 16, just like it was before. Now, let's change it now to go and look at the uh, compounding, say, daily, as we did before. Well, now, our compounding uh, periods per year are going to be 365. And if we're going to, again, do it for two years, we'll come up here again to the uh, future value that we want to find. Again, alpha enter will give us the 11, the, you know, the extra few pennies, whatever it was before. Uh, now, uh, one has to be a little careful with this uh, because uh, some textbooks will say that you should make the payments, the payments per year always the same as the compounding periods per year. Now, if you do that, let's go back to the original uh, situation. Now, notice if I put uh, 12 in here and hit the up arrow, it automatically changes the compounding periods to 12. So it's compounding 12 times a year monthly. The payments per year is, is also 12. If we do that, I have to come back up here to the N, and the N is not the number of years anymore. N is going to be the total number of payments. So if I set up that situation, come down here and solve, then what happens? It gives me the same thing as if I had used the 1 for the n, and uh, if I had used 
uh, just one payment per year. Now, what happens if I wanted to find two years here? Well, I've got to be careful. Now, this is the total number of payments, so I should change this to 24. So if it's compounded monthly uh, under this type of setup, I go and do the solving of it, it gives me this uh, 11.27.16 again. So you have to be a, a little careful uh, textbooks will specify uh, different ways to do this formula. Well, all right, so we'll use the TVM solver in uh, various later applications. Thanks for watching.